हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद लेसन नंबर थर्ड फॉर्मूलाज इन एम एस एक्सल ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज फॉर्मूलाज लुक फॉर्मूलाज आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज्ड फीचर्स ऑफ एम एस एक्सल अ फॉर्मूला इज एन एक्सप्रेशन दैट इंक्लूड्स सेल नंबर्स एड्रेसेस अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स एंड पैरेंथेसिस मीन यू कैन से the most important feature of ms excel is formulas by using these formulas you can do your work easily like if you want to do the total if you want to make the mark sheet of your class anything you can do using your formulas okay and in formulas you can use cell numbers cell numbers means uh, each box in ms excel is called cell and they have some unique numbers so that is called their cell numbers their addresses each cell is having their different address like a1 b1 c1 like this so whenever we make any formula we use these addresses also arithmetic operators like plus minus multiply divide all these are called your arithmetic operators and parentheses means brackets okay so these are the things by which you can create a single formula it is saying a formula is an expression that includes cell numbers addresses arithmetic operators and parentheses using formulas we can carry out simple addition and subtraction or far more complex mathematical calculations important thing an excel formulas always begins with an equal sign if you want to apply or if you want to write any formula in any of the cell your first symbol or you can say the first thing that you have to write is this one equal to sign a formula may contain any one or more of the following elements simply you can say the cell reference functions constants and operators these four things will make your single formula first what is cell reference again the address of a cell or cell range is called your cell reference for example a3 g5 or a1 2 a9 this is called colon sign it specifies the range a1 2 a9 a1 say a9 tak like this okay functions these are predefined formulas in excel for example sum max min etc if you want to uh, find out the total you can use the sum formula if you want to find out the greatest number you can use max min we will do it in the later classes okay constants constants are numbers like 13 comma 4 or text values like any name entered directly into a formula means whenever you write anything in the formula in the cell that are called constants and operators these are used to perform calculations on the given values the table given below shows the use of various operators and their functions now you can see this is the table in which you can see all the operators with the symbol and their name addition subtraction multiplication division percentage exponent means power equal to less than less than equal to greater than greater than equal to and not equal to these are called operators okay now next one is types of formulas in ms excel in ms excel you can create two types of formulas they are numerical formulas and text formulas first numerical formulas the formulas that allow you to manipulate numerical values are called numerical formulas means whenever you work on any of the numbers means plus minus multiply divide they will call as numerical formulas and text formulas the formula that help us to link two or more text strings means if you want to join more than one string together string means group of characters and you can say the names of anything that is called text formulas so first we will talk about creating numeric formulas to create a simple numeric formula perform the following steps steps are given here okay i am showing you look at this table you have to read the steps by your own you can take out your book and read the steps okay after that this is your excel here we have made one table look 
so i am opening ms excel and i will show you the use of percentage how to find out the percentage of any student you can see in the uh, during the exam result you say today i scored this percentage and she has scored this and like that so how to find out that percentage so the formula of percentage is marks obtained divide by maximum marks in 200 this is a formula marks obtained divide by maximum marks in 200 this is the formula of percentage so now i'm moving to ms excel look this is my ms excel and this is my table okay now first important thing that i want to tell you that if you want to change the size of the cell this is the most important thing look whenever you open ms excel the size of the cell will be like this now, if you want to make the size like this you have to use this line you can do this look i'm increasing and decreasing the cell size look this is the important thing that all of you must know to change the cell size look you can change it horizontally as well as vertically from here like this okay so this is the most important thing you must know after that if you want to make these things bold little bit bolder so first of all you have to select them like this and click on this b look now they are bold okay if you want to change their size you can use this you can change their size like this okay so this is the way by which you can change the formatting of any of the cell now if you say if you want to display these in the center of the cell you can use this one alignment look left center right okay like this now most important thing how to write the formula of percentage so first symbol should be equal to then marks obtained this one is your marks obtained so you have to click on this as you click on this your cell address will be copied automatically you can type it by your own also no problem using the keyboard you can type this like this so it depends on you how you want to do i am using this one just click on this and you will get the b2 b2 means the cell number of this marks obtained by latika okay now divide sign you can find out uh, just near the shift button you can find out this sign this backslash this is called your divide sign here then maximum marks in 200 to apply into sign you have to press the shift key and then press the eight number button this is your into sign then 100 Okay. This is my formula. Now after this I have to press enter key. As I do this, now look. This is the percentage. Look, the formula that we have applied is gone. You can't see it here. But if you want to see the formula, you have to look here. This is called your formula bar. That display the formula used in any of the cell. Here you are getting the final result. means the percentage and here you are getting the formula what formula we have applied okay so by this you can find out the percentage of any student now you have to try this by your own i'm showing you one more time equal to sign marks obtained divide by maximum marks into 100 then end 95%. This is the way by which you can find out the percentage of any student. You can find out your percentage also by this. You have to first of all you have to look at the marks obtained by you during your final exams 
and uh, you have to divide them by marks obtained okay so this is the table we have made in your ms excel software if you don't know how to open ms excel software i will share you the video that i have made earlier by that you can learn how to open ms excel okay so you can try it by your own next one copying formula to other cells now you can see i'm opening my ms excel here we have applied the formula in only these two cells okay now this 1 2 3 4 they are remaining and i don't want to apply i don't want to write the formula by my hands i want to copy the formula from here to these this is the main you can say advantage of ms excel you can copy formula from one cell to any number of cells what you have to do simply take your mouse pointer on that cell from where you want to copy the cell address or that formula then take your mouse pointer on this rightmost down corner here look at my cursor first look at this cursor now look it is changed now you have to press the mouse left key and drag your mouse mouse ko niche khinchna hai look like this till here i want to do this now leave the left click jo aapne left click dabaya hai usko chhod denge as we do this you can see the formula is copied to each and every cell if you want to check look here look at the formula here b4 divided by c4 into 100 if i click on this look b5 divided by c5 into 100 if we click on this look b6 divided by c6 like this okay so these things will help you to copy formula from one cell to another okay look again i am deleting this simply take your mouse pointer on that particular cell move your mouse mouse to the right most corner it should change like this press the left click of your mouse continuously and drag it niche khinchna hai and leave it formulas will be copied okay this is the way by which you can copy formula to other cells you can read the steps here also given now next one is creating text formulas to create text formula this sign is important the ampersand operator and sign it will help you to create the text formula how look at this example look this are the table this we have made it right now Now, if you want to show your data like this, Lalita has obtained ninety-eight point five percent marks here, like this. For that, you have to write your formula like this: equal to a two and sign double comma has obtained double comma and sign d two and double comma percent marks double comma close and then enter. As you do this, you will get the output here. Okay, let's try. Again, I am opening MS Excel here. Equal to here A2. Okay. Then space and sign. This and sign along with Shift key press the seven button from your keyboard. Now double comma has scored. Then again and sign. This one, the two, then again and sign, space, double comma, percentage. You can write anything between these double comma. That is your choice. So we are writing A two. A two means Latika has scored D two. D two means ninety eight point five percentage. Or you can say like this: percent marks. Okay, then enter. Look, Latika has scored ninety-eight point five percent marks. This is the way by which you can create text formulas. Okay, here also you can just drag it. So, look, Mahi, Rushkil, like this. This is the way by which you can copy formula from one cell to another. 
okay this is the example of text formula steps are given here you can try it or you can watch this part again so you will get it easily okay now next one is using auto sum formula auto sum formula feature means you can find out the total automatic okay so steps are given here first of all what is this look auto sum feature is one of the most popular feature available in ms excel it helps to automatically total the contents of cells to use auto sum feature perform the following steps steps are given here click in the cells e7 e7 means this one look e7 here this this is called e7 cell okay then click on the auto sum in the editing group i am showing the demo directly okay you have to read the steps by your own now this is my sheet 2 okay but before that again i am doing some editing so i am selecting this one i am making it bold i am changing the size using this one also and uh, i am changing the cell size like this okay then now in this look this is your e and here the name is 7 that's why the cell address of the cell is e7 if i click on this now what is the cell address of this g 14 if i click on this what is the cell address of this cell j 6 and you can get it from here also this is called your name box that give you the address of your cell whenever you click an, on any of the cell you will get the address here m 14 like this n 7 so you can this one also to find out the cell address okay now we have to use auto sum simplest way i want to find out the sum of these numbers so i have to select them like this again using mouse left click and drag okay i have to select this now this is your home tab editing group in this you can see here auto sum Okay, you have to click on this drop down button. Here we have different formulas, or you can say functions like sum, average, count, max, min. We will talk about them later. First, we are starting with sum. So as I click on this, you can see the sum. Here. Look, I haven't typed any of the formula. I have just clicked on this auto sums this one, and formula is applied automatically. Look, and this. and here we got the total of all these numbers in this this is the feature of auto sum means automatically you can find out the total sum of any numbers okay this is the first way if you want to do it manually you can do it like this equal to this plus this plus this cell plus this cell plus this cell now these are the numbers that i have to find out the total i have typed them their address and as after that i have to click on enter again you will get the sum so it depends on you which way you want to use okay so that's it for this video in next video we will continue with these remaining average count numbers max till then watch the video do the practical by your own try to learn and understand all the formulas okay thank you